We're heading back to repeated maps again and we're going to start off with Howling Desert in this second week of CC. Now for today's challenge, it has to do with buffing the Tiakao Brave, increasing his HP, his attack. Thankfully, there's no ASPD this time, so a bit more endurable. He's got increased res and he no longer decreases his defense when he is blocked. So using true damage will be a much better source uh, of damage against him. And then um, for the way that we're going to do Risk 8, I will take attack up. As long as you don't let the enemies attack you that much, buffing the attack wouldn't be too bad. And then we're also going to take DP regen down. Um, if you're pretty confident at taking things like anti-armor and this, then by all means you can try to do that. But the easiest way that I can identify is to bring some vanguards in the stage and try to counter this particular tag. Don't take this one. Tiakao Fnatic is usually a stressful one to deal with. And this sandstorm change can ruin quite a lot of your strategies. We shall leak some enemies over here, which is why we're not going to take this one. Alright? This is squad that I'm going to use for Risk 8. So there's a Calcid yet again on skill 3 M3. So please borrow that from a friend. If you don't have a friend with that, you can come to my Discord server and add someone over there. Uh, take two Vanguards. So preferably take one uh, Standard Bearer and one Pioneer Vanguard. If you have two Standard Bearers, that's even better. So for example, if you have an Elysium or a Silac that is built and you're using their skill one, that will be amazing in this stage. Then on the other hand, try to take two snipers as well. Marksman snipers, stronger the better. So if you have people like uh, Exia, you've got Ash, you've had Blue Poison, Platinum, April, uh, Aketo, then you can try to take them to replace these uh, snipers that may not have as high of an attack. Uh, following up, we want to have a slower supporter. So Orchid is the lowest example you can go. If you have people like Angelina on skill 1, maybe you want to use Suzerain on skill 2, you can use Istina as well. Then there's also uh, Potenko. So those are decent options to replace Orchid. And then for Steward, uh, replace him with any caster that you have that are super strong. So if you have someone like Aya, Kyobi, Golden Glow, uh, I wouldn't suggest an AoE caster because they attack quite slowly. Or you have a Mecha Court caster, so someone like Click and Kiera, uh, they can probably replace Steward really done well. Only 8 operators should be quite simple to follow. Let's start off with Risk 8. And then afterwards, I believe today is a Risk 15 stage. Alright. To start the map, I'll place a Standard Bearer first. Place your Standard Bearer once you have enough DP. Then when you have enough DP again, put in either another Standard Bearer or Pioneer Vanguard. Then place a sniper here to deal with these enemies coming in. And then place a slower supporter over here facing to the right. Turn on your Vanguard skill whenever it's ready. Have a caster over here facing upwards. Myrtle skill is ready, I'll use it. Now Myrtle is very likely to trap one fanatic, which is fine. Just let her hold on to one fanatic. If you leak a Fnatic here, it is also okay. Remove Myrtle so that she doesn't die and you can get some, you know, DP back. Place Kelsey here and her monster. Kelsey facing to the left so that she can heal monster. Again, when you have enough DP, place another Sniper here facing upwards. Activate your Pioneer Vanguard skill. Try to refund the DP and then place a Healing Defender over here facing upwards or any direction that you want. Turn on Kelsey's scale whenever uh, the Tiakao Brave is approaching the uh, monster too closely. Then from here on, it's quite AFK. Everything will pretty much operate on its own. All you need to do is turn on Kelsey's scale. There is one point that you need to place a Vanguard in. I'll explain to you where that happens. If you want to turn on like your supporter skill, your sniper or your caster skill, go ahead and do so. So again, another uh, big crocodile man is approaching. So turn on Kelsey's skill. So by placing a sniper here, you help to attack the infiltrator and the caster. A lot of enemies coming in. There's no leaks, thankfully. So this is the point where, okay, you turn on Kelsey's skill. There's an infiltrator over here that Cruz is not going to attack. Unless it's in time. So if you 
if you realize your sniper's not killing, just hold on to the infiltrator so that you let his uh, ghost eject out. This middle guy who's coming down, you can leak him. Then all you're doing is waiting for the last two enemies to get into Kelsey's range. So you can just turn on her skill when the big crocodile is like in the zone. So I'll just turn on her skill now. And then that's the end of the stage. Should be quite simple to follow. In max race though, because of the sandstorm direction change, I can't use Kelsey all that much anymore. Let's see how I do it differently. Right. There you go. So this time around, let's take all the tags to make it a risk 15. And then I'm going to switch up every single operator here. So I'm going to want some vanguards. And then I will also be taking an uh, Elysium on skill 2 to debuff the crocodiles and some of the enemies later on. Uh, there's no class restrictions, thankfully, this time. So I'm going to be taking a Sweet Thorns and a Silver Ash to help me this time around. There will be a Chen Alter. Her slow is very effective over here. So that's why I'm taking her. There's going to be a Schwartz as well. Uh, there's just one Medic who's going to heal everybody. So that's going to be a Warfarin that I choose. I'm going to take Backpipe so that she helps uh, Elysium skill and Myrtle skill to pop up even faster. I will also be using a Neural to kind of uh, do damage to a particular crocodile later on. And then finally, there's going to be a Project Raid. So Project Raid is going to be used to stun some enemies. If I'm not wrong, every single operator here is M3 on their skills except Warfarin. Let's see how I do it. So the sandstorm direction is now from top to bottom. Very painful stuff. I'm going to start off by placing Myrtle right over there. Following up, there's going to be a Silver Ash facing upwards. And then Elysium is going to sit here. I'll turn on Silver Ash skill when the punching boys are close. And then I'll use Elysium to kind of debuff this one. It's going to be a raid to stun one of the crocodiles. And I'll retreat her so that I can get some DP back. And then Silver Ash helps to remove the first two. I place Thorns there so that his skill can charge. And then Chen's going to sit right here. I'm going to turn on Thorns skill. Let's turn on Myrtle as well. Alright, now I can remove this. And I'm going to place a Medic right over here. Alright, I'm going to place a stun. Can retreat red. And then, I'll turn on Chen's skill while also debuffing the crocodile so that Chen can hurt uh, even more. Schwartz is going to sit right here. And there you go. So first big boy is down. Let's turn on Thorn's skill. Okay, to assist this particular lane, I will get short skill up. And then I'm turning on Silver Ash again. I can stop uh, Chen's skill, not needed anymore. Okay, I'm going to be placing Backpipe here. So she's going to help me get rid of the Infiltrator. Alright, let me get Backpipe skill up. Nice, and then I'm going to remove Backpipe. And I'm going to switch to a no Alter over here to deal with this guy. I'm going to slow the Crocodile down so that Taunts can kill. And no is able to eliminate one of the big guys on her own, which is great. Now I'm going to turn on Chen skill, get rid of one of the big Crocodile boys. Like that. There you go. Uh, I'll remove Taunts so that this uh, Ritualist can get a move on. Now I'll have Short Skill activated. There you go. And we're almost done. 
So Chen is just eliminating the last bit of health. As simple as that. As usual, my challenge to all max risk guiders or uh, doers, try to do your max risk without Chen out there. I'm just offering what looks like the simple way to handle today's stage. Alright, it's been fun. We're going to see even more repeat maps further on in the next few dailies. I shall see you guys in all of those. Bye-bye.